And what's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your boy, Coach Dante, in the building with you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. I really thank you guys for supporting the channel. I really thank you guys for always coming by the live streams, regardless of what I do. Uh, it's going to be more and more of that. Continue to come by, continue to hang out, and continue to show some love to the channel. Thank you, guys. And let's get right into the nitty-gritty. Uh, this is the Houston Rockets recap uh, with Coach Dante. Uh, we're going to talk about the Rockets' big victory against the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're definitely going to talk about that. And like I said again, uh, Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, clamping up uh, Chet Holmgren and Tata Washington uh, and Tyra Eason and, you know, uh, Homan is fighting for the last of the of the two-way contract that the Rockets got. And let's go. Uh, let's talk about it. So the Houston Rockets get the win, 90 to 88. Two of the best young teams. They got the brightest futures in the NBA. Uh, the Houston Rockets did a very good job. Uh, Jabari Smith. Uh, Jabari Smith did, uh, did a really good job. Played 30 minutes, 12 points, nine rebounds, one assist, four steals, and three block shots. He was just a menace on the boards. He was just a menace on the boards. I like uh, on the uh, floor. I like the energy that the Rockets came out there with. Uh, I like the hustle that the Rockets came out there with. They play some very good defense uh, when it matters the most. Uh, Jabari Smith, I mean, put the clamps on Check Holmgren. Yes, Check Holmgren has 12 points in the game, but most of them come off uh, pick, pick and rolls. Uh, most of them come off cut into the basket. And when you set a screen, when they will set a screen, they will set a screen to get uh, Jabari off check Holmgren. And most of those will result in the score because that forces the little guy to switch on check Holmgren and he will end up scoring. Uh, but every time Jabari guarded him and check Holmgren tries to go, try to go to the basket and do a lot on him, he could not do it. He could not move. Jabari Smith ball pressure was killing, was hurting anybody that he got on. Tyree Eason continued to be a dog. First play of the game, Jabari Smith get a steal. Uh, it resulted into a pass to uh, Josh Christopher into an alley-oop uh, to Tyree Eason pretty much. Uh, Tyree Eason is just a beast, man. Again, another double-double, 14 points, 11 rebounds. This time he was more efficient from the field for uh, – for Tyree Eason, one of three from the field. Uh, he did miss a free throw. He did miss a free throw, but the Rock, none, none, none there. The Rockets did win the game. Uh, Rockets did win the game off that free throw, pretty much. Dacia Nick, 16 points, six assists, played a little, played a better game than what he played. Josh Christopher continues to be very, very good. His athleticism and his three point shooter continues to be good. Uh, Tata Washington has probably the best floater game in this summer league, man. This guy got that floater. Down pack. Tata Washington got the floater down pack. Um, the floater was pretty much uh the game ceiling bucket, the game winning bucket to put the Ash the uh Houston Rockets up one uh 87 86. Um, I like his step back, I like his step back ability, I like his ability to drive to the basket and create for himself his playmaking ability right now. On this team, on this summer summer league team, Tata Washington is the best playmaker in this uh in this in this uh on this team right now. Uh, you had Homan. Homan is having another good game. Had another good game. Uh, pick and pop, pick and pop. Uh, three pointer. Uh, the posterizer on check home where man, that was a big posterizer right there. He also had two blocks in this game. So uh, Homan is very very good, man. Homan played very very well. I thought Higgins, I thought Trey, Trey Huggins came in, gave some good minutes. Trey Mitchell came in and gave some good minutes as well on the defensive side. And Aaron and Homan is fighting for that two-way spot, man. Another two, that two last two-way contract spot. Aaron Home, and I mean not Aaron Home, but Homan has done a really, really good job of protecting the rim and also hitting the pick and pop threes as well. But this defense. I mean, Jabari Smith, you know what? I'm not mad. I know his efficiency. I know people. a lot of people is going to be concerned because, oh, he's not hitting his jump shots. He's having trouble creating. That is not true. That is false information. 
Again, he is not having trouble creating his own shot because every shot he got was a very good shot. I mean, it's just not really going in for him. But he's going to get a feel of that ball. He's going to get a feel of it going in. Don't worry about it. But one thing is not, you know, it's not doing, it's not hurting his confidence. It's not hurting him because he's out there competing on the defensive side of the basketball. He's out there getting chased down blocks. He's out there blocking check homegrown. He's out there hustling, diving on the floor for loose balls. He's out there uh, getting steals, getting the passing lane. He's out there doing everything. So, again, Jabari Smith is going to be a two-way monster. So is Tyree Eason is going to be a two-way monster as well. Josh Christopher is going to continue to improve. And the battle at the point guard position, the back probably the backup point guard spot, will be between Dacia Nix and Tata Washington, let me know in the comment section who you guys will go with in that scenario. But again, Nation Mix did have a great, did have a great game. He did have an awesome game. Uh, he was very, very good. Uh, he did bounce back. Uh, but again, man, I like this team. I like this team energy. Uh, I like the way they came out and played. I like they played better team ball. They put Jabari in this game situations where, they, where he can be successful and where he can become. Uh, that player that, uh, you know, Pablo Bencaro was, but again, he didn't make a lot of shots, but it was one, it was one time, a couple of shots that he shot over a defender and made, it was a one, uh, shot. I think it was a big shot as well when the Rockets was getting some of that momentum and Oklahoma city was on that run. Uh, he pumped, he stepped, he was behind the three point line, he pumped fake, he stepped, he took one dribble inside the arc and he shot it and he made the. Uh, jump shot. So he made a couple of key baskets in this game as well. So Jabari Smith, as the game goes on and on, he's going to shoot the ball a little better. I'm not concerned 1,000% about the jump shot. The guy can create his own shot. He's just missing those jump shots. And it's just a lit up on that basket at this point, man. But the guy's doing everything else, man. And you can constantly hear the announcer, Seth Greenberg and everybody saying, this guy is doing everything. He's not making shots, but he's making a bigger impact on the floor. Uh, on the defensive side, his, his energy, his, his motor is not going to be questioned because he got a good motor. Because, again, he's going back out. He's he's making shots. He's not making shots, but he's playing great defense. He's getting steals. He's getting block shots. He's playing hard. Um He's doing whatever he could. He's doing whatever he could. Even if he's not making shots, he's not getting him out of his game. He's still out there. And he's even getting to the point where he's diving on the floor for loose balls as well. So, again, shout out to everybody. Uh, this is the Rockets recap uh, with Coach Dante. Uh, the Rockets will be playing the San Antonio Spurs at 6 o'clock my time. I will be on air for that on the Spotlight Sports Network and uh, my Coach Dante's channel. Uh, shout out to everybody. Uh, th this is interesting. Who's going to be invited to camp? Uh, Homan wants uh, uh, is trying to get that two way, uh, that last two way contract spot. Uh, the point guard battle between Dacian Nix and you know Tata Washington continues, and I'm saying very good for Tyree Eason and Jabari Smith and Tata Washington. I'm I'm feeling really good about those guys. So that's the end of the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think on this uh video, guys. I uh, got another video to make again. Tata Washington, uh, nine points, three assists, uh, two rebounds. Uh, for Tata, Josh Christopher had 19 points, nine rebound, nine rebounds, and five assists. Dacia Nick, 16.6 assists. Uh, you have Homan with five points, three rebounds, and two blocks. Uh, Huggins also had uh, Trey Hit Huggins. Huggins also had nine points and four assists. So this team is doing a really, really good job. It will be interesting going down the stretch. So comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. See y'all in the next video and in the next live stream later today at 6 o'clock. Thank you, guys. Much love. Peace. Go Rockets.